We've talked about the importance of having guaranteed sources of income in your retirement to hopefully, you know, address that concern of outliving uh, your savings. Social Security is one of those sources that a lot of people depend on. It is estimated that Social Security's trust fund will go dry as early as 2035. And if Congress does nothing, the benefits could be cut by as much as 25 percent. Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville says the writing, well, quite frankly, it's already on the wall. This is all a scam. I mean, we got people that's getting ready to retire that's going to try to live off two to three thousand dollars. Impossible, because what happens? It comes up here, we spend it. We're thirty-five trillion in debt. We don't have any money. We're dead broke. We are in huge trouble, and we had better start figuring that out because we're going to have a run on this city here soon, and there's going to be about hundred and fifty million people coming up here saying, "Where's our damn money that we paid in?" I could have put my Social Security money for forty years in the market and probably be worth eight to ten million today. But the federal government wasted it. People are going to continue to work longer and longer. So what can people do now to act as an income hedge in the event if, if Social Security does implode within the next 10 years? Hey, Nolan, could you jump in here and kind of talk about some of the different maybe products or 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 things that you have? And then, then I'm going to kind of finish up on what folks can do, what, how we can help them from a long-term perspective. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, when we're thinking about the fact that uh, we've got this fast-moving train looking at Social Security and the fact that uh, Social Security trust funds expected to be exhausted in 10 years, it's it's a hot topic. And it's one that actually gets our listeners uh, uh, pretty fired up. Look, um, I believe the government owes you for what you've put into it. But I, I'm just here to kind of state the facts and, and look at it and then talk about, you know, some ideas and solutions. And, you know, when you look at it, has Social Security benefit been reduced in the past? You know, not directly reduced in the dollar figures, but, you know, over the years, they've taken massive steps to reduce the amount of Social Security that's paid out to people. Uh, as an example, in 1983 and 1993, uh, there was two amendments that created the taxations of uh the Social Security benefits. And now, you know, those thresholds when you have a married couple and their income, you know, gets over 32000 or 44000 for uh, a married couple, up to 85% of your Social Security benefits can be taxable income. It's not an 85% tax. That just means it's included on your benefits. You have a delayed cost of living adjustment. So in 1983, they made an adjustment that effectively delayed the annual cost of increase. They also kind of monkey with the numbers on what formula they use to determine your cost of living. Uh, number three in the past, what they did is they increased the full retirement age. And, you know, 1983, gradually increasing that age from 65 to 67. Uh, in the past, they changed the benefit formula um, calculated on the formula used to determine what your average wages were over time, you know, making adjustments to the formula uh, has done a lot. They've done the Medicare premiums deducted. Um, there's, you know, other potential legislation. And, and what happens is uh, I think nobody in Washington really wants to address this issue. Either side doesn't want to talk about the fact that Social Security is going to be exhausted and what the real solution needs to be. And so what I think that you want to do is I you want to put yourself in a situation that you kind of control the outcome. And by controlling the outcome, what you want to do is make sure that you have a backup plan in place. So you want to have a bucket of money that's designed in the future. So a bucket of money, according to them, in 10 years from now, that's designed to ultimately help offset a reduction of Social Security. Um, there's an insurance company actually that came out. It's the first insurance company that I've seen that offers an insurance policy. It's called Plan Gap that will help cover the gap of a reduction of what Social Security is. But even if you don't use that type of an insurance, you can still look at your overall financial picture, and there's different type of vehicles that will offer you a fixed amount of income that you can put money in today, you know what that fixed level of income is going to be in 10 years from now. Uh, example of that is you could use an annuity with an income rider. And so by depositing a set amount of money into that account, you could know what it would be worth. 
Now, hopefully they fix Social Security, right? I don't know if that's even possible, but hopefully <laughs> that there's not a major reduction in Social Security. And if that can, happens to be the case, well, now you still have money that's designed to give you a pay raise in the future. So as life gets more expensive, again, having a backup plan is what you can do. So if, if you're worried about that and you want to know what the backup plans are, uh, Jeremy, you're correct in the fact that there are some good solutions that we can walk people through. But when you're looking at solutions, you're running these analysis, you know, what are the other ideas that you're giving uh, out to people? You know, doing a number of presentations about Social Security, we, we take a look at someone that we would call, you know, an early, a person that wants to claim Social Security at age 62, or, you know, someone we might call later who waits until 70, or somewhere in between. And I would ask, you know, do you have a financial advisor that's provided you with a written retirement income plan? And I'm not talking about a financial plan, but a retirement income plan. And what that is, it's a financial plan to take you to re not only to retirement, but take you through retirement. And then I would ask if that income plan includes a, se a section dedicated to Social Security that can play, a, you know, what we can do is figure out the amount of capital you have to commit to your plan. And if you don't have that plan, I would ask if that concerns you. Um, if you'd like to know whether you can be an early or a later, let us know. We could do a complimentary stress test on your portfolio, Social Security optimization plan. Um, generally, this takes about 20 minutes, a couple meetings. We can figure out if you're an earlier or a later. And we can, number one, provide you with that number and what, what capital you have need, needed to take, take, the, take care of that gap. And then we can also figure in these calculations on what Social Security, what the government's telling us. It's written right on your statement, what, what they're planning on taking out. And then we can provide maybe those different services or products that can, that can help cover that gap. And, and that's the other thing. I think a lot of people will draw Social Security benefits early because of the fact they know that Social Security is going to go broke, and they're like, well, I better get it while I can before it's out of money. True. Mm -hmm. That can t come back to be a very big, costly mistake to make that decision to lock yourself into a lifetime of reduction. So as Jeremy's talking about getting that Social Security optimization report, um, you know, maybe a way to kind of put your mind a, a little bit at ease I had uh, just run one of these reports for somebody who came into the office, and you know the, the course of the income difference <clears throat> between drawing benefits early versus you know optimizing the overall approach of when somebody could draw benefits. Uh, in, in this example, um, it made uh, a couple hundred thousand dollars of a difference, almost a half a million dollars of a difference if this husband and wife. Uh, draw benefits and then optimize strategy later in life versus drawing benefits right away at retirement time. So it can, can make a big difference. If you're worried, again, about what to do, what a backup plan is, Jeremy runs the Social Security optimization reports all the time, and then I have a lot of the financial tools that can show you ways to build out that gap to be able to put it all together. Uh, so if it's something that happens, you have a plan for it. Again, they're talking about 10 years from now, uh, Social Security Trust Fund is going to be exhausted. Uh, so now is the time, and don't wait and rely upon the government taking care of you in the future. So you want to take some steps now. You're going to have, in my opinion, a lot more choices by taking steps now versus waiting till later. And uh, it's just one of the many ways that the team at America's Retirement Headquarters does, in fact, work together like a team. They're, they all have different strengths, and being able to put together that comprehensive strategy to get you to two through and beyond retirement. It's part of their retirement team action plan, the independent income system, how healthcare factors into it, because it's all important components when it comes to your retirement. And to get started, to figure out how it all works for you, set up a time, schedule a time to speak with them. They'll be happy to have that conversation. 419-794-3030. If you have questions about something that we didn't talk about on the show here, uh, you know, bring that to the, the conversation as well. 419-794-3030. You can always find them online at ARHQ. Dot com. I want to thank you, as we always do, for joining us here on the show on America's Retirement Headquarters. Hope you have a great week ahead of you. Gentlemen, appreciate you taking time out of your schedule. I hope you have a great week as well. And as we wrap up, I want to leave you with the final word. Yeah, I would just say, remember, when you think retirement, think America's Retirement Headquarters. It's home of the Retirement Guys formula and America's Medicare Associates.